Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use ChatGPT to actually um, output some code. Now the way it works is text goes in and code comes out. So pretty much I've actually um, got a few prompts going. Now I'll grab this prompt and we'll throw it in. So basically what, what you need to do is you need to describe the, the, the code that you want and it will be able to output it. So what I say here is um, I say make a stock function in porn for Sam that gives the player max health. So we'll, we'll input that and it'll take a couple of seconds to output so we'll wait for that. Okay, now I asked for a stock function, but sometimes it will output a public. So all, all you would need to do for this code is create a forward for that, and it will actually work, and you'll be able to use set max health, um, the function for that to be able to set players max health. So that's that prompt. Uh, what we'll do is we'll jump in and we'll grab another prompt. Now, the, the, this is sort of the type of prompt you would want to use if you wanted to create a command. So I'll say here, make a command called kill in pawn for samp that kills the player. So we'll input that and we'll wait for it to output. Now, as you can see, it's used on player command text because it wouldn't know about Z command. This is the actual default way to make commands. But pretty much this is how it is. Slash kill and it sets the player's um, health to zero and it actually kills them. So there you go. That's a work, that's a working piece of code there. So that's the second prompt. What I'll do is I'll jump over and grab another prompt. So pretty much, um, he, he's another command but a bit, more, a bit more complex. So we'll say... Make a command called weapons in pawn for Sam that gives the player an AK-47 and Deagle with 500 ammo. So we'll input that and we'll wait for it to output. Now, as you can see, now th this is actually pretty much working code as well. So this will actually work straight away. And what it does, it, a it actually tells you a little bit of information of, of, of how it did it. So this is really handy for, for newbies pretty much. So if you're learning how to make commands, all you need to do is pra practically describe it. You, you, can use, um, you can use my prompts um, if you want to. But pretty much, um, yeah, you just basically got to... Um, describe it and it will output the code so we'll grab this last prompt and uh th this is going to be an anti-cheat system so i say make an anti-cheat in porn for sam that covers we uh, weapon and ammo hacks so we'll input that and we'll wait for it to output okay now it's outputted the code, so pretty much, uh, you know, sometimes it won't, you know, output code that's actually going to work first go. As you can see here, uh, max weapons isn't defined, so there is no uh, default definition for max weapons. So you can either you can either go, um, you know, define. Uh, weapons like this and go 12 or you can just um, change all the max weapons to 12 uh, like this and, and it, will, it will actually work so pretty much this is what's happening um, you know on player update it loops through all the all the um, all their weapons and if um, if they've got a weapon if they've got a weapon that is not um, that like because when they connect it will go through all the weapons and it will give them all the all the weapons and all the ammo pretty much so Alright guys, so I, I inputted the prompt again just to see if we get a different result. And as you can see, this time it's defined max weapons. So um, here, here, like with the max ammo, it's actually defined each each uh, weapon ID, um, how much ammo each weapon ID has. So this is actually a pretty good um, a, a pretty good output this time. So um, now it's defined all the max ammo for each um, uh, weapon ID. Now on player update, it will loop through the weapons, it will store the data, and then um, for here, that's actually going to be max ammo, I believe. Ammo, max ammo, weapons, max weapons. But there is no such thing as get player weapons. Uh, you're going to have to change that to get player weapon data, and uh, that, that should actually work. And then what, what it does is it loops through all the weapons, and if any of the ammo is actually more, they've actually ammo hacked, so it will kick the player. Or if they've got uh, more weapons than actual max weapons, that means they've hacked um, some weapons, so it will kick the player. So as far as I can see, that is actually going to work, or it might need a couple more, um, a couple more, um, you know, fine tuning and that. But that's pretty much how it works. This gives you the basic idea of pretty much how a very basic uh, anti cheat works. So there's that. So uh, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like SAMP related content, tutorials, devlogs, and all all that sort of stuff, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.